Well, hey there. On today's how-to, we are going to be unboxing an Uncle Straps Jubilee bracelet and installing it on a Tudor Black Bay 58, but we'll be keeping the OEM Tudor clasp. Let's go. I got the cash in the bag, stadium pack. Born a rock star in this life, gone live it up on the attack. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna get caught up in this life. I'm crazy, I'm bad. Doing no cap. Only God wants you better go live it up. Cash in the bag, stadium pack. Baby, I'm bad. Yeah. Baby, I'm bad. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder, cause they treat me like an outcast. I ain't gonna take that, stay back. I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps. I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me. Ain't nobody like that. I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact. Give me one shot and I'll never get the So it's no secret, I'm a big fan of Tudor watches. However, I cannot stand the OEM bracelets on the Tudor Black Bay 58. Probably my least favorite part about the Tudor OEM bracelets are the faux rivets. I think visually it just distracts from a nice clean oyster style link. Also on the Tudor bracelets, they don't really offer a ton of articulation, so they can be a little bit uncomfortable. However, the Tudor clasps are made pretty well. Now, if you don't like the OEM bracelet, you might have to go with an aftermarket bracelet option. But the thing I don't like about a lot of aftermarket bracelets is I don't like the prominent branding that is oftentimes placed on the clasp. Now, if I spent all this money to buy a genuine Tudor watch, I want the clasp to also display genuine Tudor branding. And now one of the cool things that Uncle Straps has done is they are now providing bracelets that allow you to still use the OEM Tudor clasp. So now let's change perspectives and I'm gonna show you how to install the Uncle Straps Jubilee on your Tudor Black Bay 58. Here's how the packaging comes. Nice, simple envelope. The customary swag stickers. And here's the bracelet. Bracelet has two end links, some spring bars, a smaller spring bar, probably for the clasp, and then the two Jubilee bracelets. I opted for the 100% brushed version. So there's everything that comes in the packaging, two solid end links, two Jubilee bracelets, and then the necessary replacement spring bars. All right, so for the first step, I'm gonna be taking off the OEM bracelet. I've already put some heat resistant tape on the back side of the lugs just to help minimize scratches on my case back. I'm gonna be using some spring bar tweezers to remove the OEM bracelet. Okay, next I'm going to take off the OEM Tudor clasp. So in order to do that, I'm gonna take my spring bar punch tool and I'm gonna depress the spring bar right here on the clasp. Do that on both sides. And then on the other side of the bracelet, there's going to be a spring bar that holds on the safety clasp. So you'll take your spring bar tool and again, just punch that spring bar down enough to be able to remove that safety clasp. And repeat the process on the other side. Now, once you've gotten off the safety clasp, you can push the spring bar out. And now you've successfully separated the OEM clasp. All right, up next, we are going to connect our Jubilee bracelet to the OEM Tudor clasp. Now you should notice on the uncle straps, you have one side that is, I believe, 10 millimeters wide that should be able to fit into this side of the clasp. The other side, should be able to slide nicely into the top side of the OEM Tudor clasp. So in order to do this, I will take the supplied fat spring bar and insert it into this end. And 
Then I can usually just use my fingernail. And once that spring bar is seated, go ahead and double check both sides to make sure it's in all the way. Now to do the other end, I will slide this on, take the spring bar, slide it down. And then with the spring bar back in, I'm gonna put the safety clasp back on. So I'll insert it on one side and then try to use my fingernail and to press it in. And again, just double check to make sure that both sides of that spring bar are fully seated into the safety clasp, which will keep this end of the bracelet together. So if we've done that correctly, this is what we should have. So I'm gonna take the end link, put that up to the end of the bracelet, slide my 20 millimeter spring bar that was supplied by Uncle Straps, flip that over and insert this. Once you get that spring bar in, make sure that both ends of that spring bar are fully seated into the case. Now we're gonna repeat the process on the other side by putting that end link together, sliding in that new spring bar. Now that the OEM clasp is on the Jubilee bracelet and the bracelet is attached to the watch case, I'm gonna now size it for my wrist. A few inches later. Okay, so here's the final product. The Tudor Black Bay 58 on the Uncle Straps fully brushed Jubilee bracelet. And then we put it on the OEM Tudor clasp. And that's what the fitment looks like. I opted for fully brushed center links. The outsides are high polished on the flanks, which match the high polish flanks of the Black Bay 58 case and the high polished sides of the Tudor OEM bracelet. I think the setup looks pretty unique and it also maintains that vintage styling. I'm gonna go ahead and throw it on the wrist so you can see what it looks like on wrist. So what are my initial thoughts? First and foremost, I like the aesthetic better on the Jubilee, mostly because it doesn't have those faux rivets on the side. Now I weighed my Tudor size to my wrist before I made the swap. Once I fixed the sizing of the Jubilee, I weighed it again and the uncle bracelet did make the overall watch weigh about six grams lighter. Now, as far as the overall construction goes, I will say the Jubilee bracelet is only $130. So you do kind of get what you pay for. They are cutting costs a little bit by using split push pins instead of screw-in pins like on the OEM Tudor. As far as the fitment of the bracelet, it's pretty good. There is a little bit of play like you would expect with most Jubilee bracelets. Some people might describe that as making it feel a little bit cheap. I like to think of it as feeling a little bit more vintage inspired. On the wrist, it does allow for a little bit more play. So I actually think that um, it does make it wear a little bit more comfortable. And so some of that does kind of come down to preference. Do you like that vintage feel, that jingly jangly, or do you want a more solid, robust oyster link fitment? So overall, what are my conclusions? I would say the Tudor OEM bracelet has worse design, but higher quality construction. Whereas the Uncle Seiko bracelet has cheaper construction, but a better overall design. At the end of the day, the Uncle Bracelet cost only about $130. So good job, Uncle Straps. All right, fellas, so there you have it. How to put the Uncle Jubilee Bracelet on your Black Bay 58 with your original Tudor OEM clasp. So which one do you prefer? The OEM Oyster Style Bracelet or this on the Jubilee? If you've made it this far into the video and you found some value in it, please drop a like. And if you wanna see more videos like this, hit that subscribe button. And remember guys, life is short, so wear your watches. Cash in the bag, stadium pack, born a rock star in the 